welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to episode 17, if I remember correctly, here in the Sports Gaming Pro Los Angeles Dodgers franchise. Um, if you haven't already, go recap on the past two episodes. We made some massive trades, a lot of in, uh, contract extensions and stuff like that. A lot of stuff going on. So we split the first series of August, and this is going to be the make or break month of our season. We need to get hot come around this time we need to start winning a majority of our games coming into um september because the playoffs is right around the corner so let's see how we do ladies and gentlemen game one against st louis we lose game two we win you already know that we are going to quick manage this and see how we do. Cunha's been on fire, but I'm gonna give him the day off for Robles. And yeah. Oof. That hurts there. All right, come on, Belly. Nice, Cody Bellinger to tie it. Victor Robles. I knew he'd come in clutch Three. eventually. Anybody want to get some offense going? Come on, Billy. Please, man. No flipping away. We got a guy in scoring position for Max Muncy. I don't know what to do. <sighs> Biggest situation of the night, ladies and gentlemen. We are gonna hop in. This is big for us to get our 75th win here. My goal is to not get to 60 L's on the season. Um, I want to start getting hot here, but we can't do that. If we're going to be performing like this, our pitching rotation is iffy. And that's a big part of why we're losing many of these games. I want Yadier Alvarez to be ready for us to call up. Um, this is big now. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. That's in the gap. This one high and deep to right center field. Ah, Dugo! game over. I told you this kid is an absolute so it's beast a when he gets right playing center. time. And with one swing of the bat, this ball game is over. And I don't lie. They say better late than never, and that's obviously something that he takes to heart as he puts a charge in one for a walk-off homer. Got to be the best feeling in all of baseball. I was just looking for a little base knock into opposite field to tie this game, but I guess I'll take that any day. Dennis Santana is 2-0 ever since you put him in that closing spot. Just to throw that out there. Getting hot with two straight dubs. Heading in uh, to this Arizona series. We lose, lose, win. Not great. 
this should be an easy sweep, so I'm not even going to quick manage that. Um, there was no need to. Looking for our 80th win, but... Ronald Acuna Jr. is going up against his first team. So you know what that, uh, his old team. So you know what that means, right? We're going to hop in and play with him. And I guess you can say Javier Baez is going up against his old team, too, because I traded him to Atlanta and then traded back for him. So I guess you can say that, too. Oh, they put David Freeze in the lineup just to play against us. Dang, bro, that's deep. Their lineup just doesn't look the same without Acuna. Using the Braves, using a Acuna, Albies, the Chop, and they're pretty good, Atlanta. They are very good. We have some. We have some talent. Max Fried gets the ball for Atlanta oh, Max Fried. He pitched last night in real life. And holy God, Javier Baez against his old team, I guess you can say. Um, Cunha against his old team in his old stadium against his old teammates. He's messing pitches that he should be hitting here. You're not going to win every ball game. So they lost last game. Fine. Let's find a way to execute today and get on the winning side. And he is um fouling off a lot of balls here. here with nobody out. He is fouling off a lot of balls. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. The next 0 2. Base hit Acuna. Base hit in the center field. Dan Count goes out the window with this batter right here. It doesn't matter if it's 0-2-2-0. He's locked. He has great bat to ball skills. To bring up Some Turner, yeah, I'm gonna steal the base. I'm gonna steal the base either way. I was gonna plan on doing that. Because why not? A guy with this speed. Put him in scoring position for two great guys in um, our order. Hey, it's almost impossible to throw a base runner out that gets a lead that big. And plus, this catcher's not known for having a cannon of an arm. The Cunha leads off second with nobody out. The throw behind the runner at second, and they got him. Oh, God. So a runner at first with two away. Wow, we're winning four nothing here. First pitch coming, here it is. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Chasing after it is in Ciarte. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Ronald Acuna. He flew out in his last at bat. From the stretch. Ground ball foul down the left side. From the belt, kicks and deeps. Hit the other way out toward right field. Marcakis has a read on it, and that's the third out. Dodgers lead one. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now. He's got a hit in three. So it's pretty interesting. Um, what's happening right now? Cunha is playing horrible here against his old team. And that ends the inning. He's blown many opportunities. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. He's set. Here it comes. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. And he'll pull into second with one away. That's big. Ready for another chance. Justin Turner. He was a ground out victim last time up. Is this Jansen? This is against our old beast closer, Jansen. And that'll get on through into right field. 
with a base hit. And Lone is in to score from second. It's a 9 1 ball game. All right, all right. That'll boy. Cody! Sometimes it's hard to explain when a game is this lopsided. A lot of things just... 9 to 1 is the way this one ends. The Dodgers, with their 80th win to pace the division. Hyunjin Ryu notches his third win of the year as he turns in eight strong innings of work. Number 80. We are getting hot with five straight dubs. Can we keep it going? We can at six. Kershaw versus Guzman. And we sweep, we sweep the Atlanta Braves heading back home. This should be interesting against Toronto. We lose game one, but then win the next two. At home against the Yankees, this is going to be interesting. An old school matchup. Dallas up. A nice old school matchup between the Yanks and the Dodgers. We are the better team, without a doubt. Obviously, looking at the record and the players. Dallas. And a welcome inside Dodger Stadium here in Los Angeles tonight. Dodger Stadium. Matchup of division contender. If you guys are enjoying this series, go down there, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? And let's get this game popping. Nice old school matchup here. Well in this one and pick up his 10th victory of the year. Dan Dero, you check out this Dodger team as they enter play here. And that's a shallow ball for Bellinger, who I moved to a full-time right field. They're not going to play really any first base anymore. Um, eventually, maybe down the road. Possibly really move there. Some people will say, "Oh, you don't want to have that big a lead. You start resting on your laurels." I, I, I look at it the other way, man. You've earned the right to kind of get some guys off their feet if the manager wants it. There's a lot of different ways you can go about it. This team's focused and playing really good baseball. I would not worry about it. Keep pushing the throttle. With that, here's a look at the Yankees' starting lineup. Who stands out to you, Danny? Well, Matt, we all know it. The man to watch, Giancarlo Stanton. He's on a nice stretch. That's three home runs in his last ten games. He's swinging the bat really well right now. That's it? Watching his three home runs in the last ten games? He looks comfortable in the plate. He's in some That's kind of a groove. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. We're about to show the Yanks what a baseball game is. All right, they think, oh, mm -hmm, blah, 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 blah. We're about to show them that our bullpen guy that we moved over to the starting pitcher is about to throw a no-hitter against him. And we are about to absolutely blow out the New York Yankees, ladies and gentlemen. I am psyched. I am ready to go. Let's get it started, Javi Baez, right now. First pitch gone. No. But... He'll fly out to the left. Is there and he makes the left. All right, Javi. Are we doing now, the, the Acuna in the two spot here? Nero, give us what you have on this lineup. Yep. Yeah, Matty, you take a look at this yep, lineup. Yep, 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 yep. The jumps out is the fact that they are last in stolen bases. They are station to station trying to hit the ball out of the ballpark, trying to get good counts and drive the baseball out of the yard to create their runs. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they've had it go in the last 10 games. They're seven and three over that stretch, including a win last time out. Yeah, Maddie, this is a classic case of hitting is contagious. They Not good runs last game. at all. This team is flying. I don't know who's on the mound right now. But. Fly ball out toward left center field. Stanton has a read on it. And the inning is over. Dodgers retired on just four pitches. Still no score. Mm -hmm. 
next for New York, Giancarlo Stanton. He'll get us started in the top of the second. All right, Mr. Giancarlo Stanton, who's hot lately. Let's, let's see this Giancarlo Stanton. I'll give him a fastball right down the middle. See what he does with it. He grounds out to short. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. That is good. Now with the plate, Gary Sanchez. I give him a good pitch too. Nice pitch to hit, and he fouls it off. He's taken him deep once. All right, Sanchez. I give you a good pitch, and you hit a blue first of Bellinger, right? Trying to get a one, two, three inning, you already know we will. And Baez will put this one away to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Bombers. We'll go to the bottom of the second, no score. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Cody Bellinger. He'll look to get something going here in this scoreless ball game. Cody. Bellinger. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Uh, not fooled there as this ball's is this ball's over? Deep right field. That's off the wall. But he can't rein it in. It's off the wall. I'll take a and double any day. Beautiful piece of hitting his turns on it. Oh, yeah, you're right, man. He showed some serious hops, but not serious enough. He goes up high for it with the good leap, but he just can't bring it in. And that allows him to cruise into second with a good piece of hitting. And it's a productive first out as that runner is able to advance 90 feet up to third here. Bring up so a runner at third Max Muncy. Ah. That'll bring up the left-handed hitter, Max Muncy. First offering on its way. And the squeeze is on here, and he, gets and he beats it, it out. And he's safe. Boy, Piro, talk about drawing up the squeeze play for perfection. It can't be done. Victor Robles. Has... Yeah, right there. You're, you're on an island as a third baseman, first baseman, even the pitcher. When it's executed to perfection, you either put it in your pocket or get the out at first. Hicks is under it. He hauls it in without any trouble. That was perfection. Away. The baseball that we just played. Number eight. Trusting you here, Keeper. First to the at bat. Foul tip into the catcher's glove at strike one. Dodgers have the early one nothing advantage as we play the second. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. At the plate, Luke Boyd. So we're going to fast forward to the seventh year. Get a run in, and now we are up 4-2. to two. Seven three. Ladies and gentlemen, that was, that, was, that was a good game. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.